Hi. Hi. How are you? Can, I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, how about you? Can you hear me? Great. Can you hear me well? Good. Not so well. Oh, great. I'm trying to. I'm I'm gonna try to speak louder. Okay, so how this meeting will work? First of all, I'm gonna introduce myself, and then you will introduce your business. You have uh, the opportunity to do a pitch for me, and in the pitch you can present yourself when you present the team. Do you have Do you have your your pitch deck with you? Okay, so before you share, before you share, uh, let me introduce myself. So I'm an angel investor and I'm startup mentor right now. I, I have worked for one of the biggest consulting firms of the world, focusing on strategy and also strategic planning, commercial excellence, pricing, marketing. During our projects there, I, I had the opportunity to work with all kinds of companies, sectors, and uh, different sizes of companies, multinationals, local. Uh, I was responsible, I was in charge for for projects that are related to the strategy, talking to all the board of the companies, the levels to define the strategy, commercial excellence, marketing, and projects of $1 million in investment for the companies. And total, I had the opportunity to identify more than a hundred million dollars in revenue opportunities for them so it was uh, a little bit of my career as a executive a senior executive in the consulting firm after that i had the opportunity to go to silicon valley to study a little bit more about uh, startups and the environment and ecosystem that is in place there so it helped me to do a parallel of what the big companies were doing and what startups were doing what they were doing differently the best of each one of them so after that i was i become patient patient i was in love with the startup world. So I started uh, mentoring startups and investing in startups. It begins with investments. And uh, because of during my analysis, when I was analyzing lots of pitches, some of them need uh, additional help as a mentor. So now I'm uh, also playing as mentor. So this is a little bit about me. Now I want you to 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 pitch your startup, your idea, your project for me, and also include the presentation of you guys. Okay, I'm gonna share the, the, the presentation. 
Great. Are you seeing the presentation right now? Yes, I can see your screen right now. Great. Great. I think the flow of the presentation is very good. What I want to do now is to make comments on each slide that you prepared and then 
you can you can share the screen i want to make some comments in each in each slide and okay. then we can discuss a little bit about them Not yet. Sure. We are almost there. I think we are in our way to to make it visible. It's it's still still thinking, but it's on their way. Now the, the screen is black. Yeah, but I can see. It's strange because I was seen and it was very good. Yes, now I can see. Yeah, I can see now. Yeah. Okay, sure. So talking about the first slide, which is your cover page, I really, really like it because it's clear. We have your brand. We have one sentence that describes exactly what you do. You have an image that communicates what you're gonna do it's very clear it's very easy to understand it's very effective it's very very good and it's important because it's the first impression on me so the first impression was already good yeah i can hear hi I can hear you. Sure. So the f the cover page, the, the first page of your slide is very good. The second slide, okay. you start talking about the problem which is the way that I suggest you to do. And I really like the way that you talk about the problem because it's very simple. It's very clear for me what the problem is. And it, it, it is very, very good. You also include an image on the slide to demonstrate the the problem and the frustration of who is trying to find the venue it, it is very 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 good then after the problem you bring the solution which is what you are proposing to bring to the market and it's also very clear for me what the solution is because it's a web platform to book venue in only three minutes it's very simple very easy and then the next slide oh and still in this slide when you present the solution it's a contrast that you created comparing the problem and the solution when you bring the problem you bring an image of a professional who is trying to book a venue and it's frustrated 
but now with your solution you are demonstrating that that by using the platform they are happy they could do what they want to do they are using a notebook to do that it's very good and the next slide you complement this information with the screen of your web platform isn't it Great, it's it's very good. I really like it. It's very good. I really like the way that you presented. How long how long does it take how long does it take to book a venue? Three minutes, right? Is that correct? Good. One, uh, uh, I, I'm not sure if you have prepared that, but one suggestion here is to record a process and have a video. And you can also share the link of this video to demonstrate that one person could book a venue with all information that they want in three minutes and that's it it's booked so create uh, if if you don't have it create a video to demonstrate how easy it is Good. But it, if you have in Spanish, it's it's good because you're gonna start on Spanish countries, right? In Spanish language countries. So you mention Mexico and Colombia, right? Sorry? Could you repeat, please? I didn't understand what you if you confirmed or not that the markets you're going to start will be colombia and mexico first no i just asked uh, uh if colombia and mexico would be the first two countries that you're going to focus Is there a reason for that, for starting in Colombia and Mexico? Okay. Uh, 
เอาไว้ดีๆที่เซฟเลยที่เป็นลาเกียนตานยามเป็นตามบราซิลยังไอทิงบราซิลคุณบีเอ่อ a next step for your product because we have this problem here also Uh, it's very, it's very demanding, and it takes time to find. Yeah, you are you are correct. You are correct. I think the same way as you do. Once you have established your business in one market, understand the process, understand the difficulties, learn how to do it in your own country, which is easier to understand and to learn, and readapt if need, if needed, and then move to the other one. I argue, I argue if Mexico is is already a target that you should go go for. Okay, so talking about the market size, talking about the the market size slide, I think it's very clear. You bring information enough to understand what's going on. You presented that there's a global market there that you can touch going forward, but it's not time yet. There is a market. There is an addressable market where you can penetrate at first, at the beginning, and a reasonable amount of market share in the next one year or two, in order to grow, understand the market, and validate your business and gain traction. Month after month, year after year. Very good slide.
Hi, we are back. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. No problem. Yes, I can hear you. Sure. So I was talking. Uh, yeah, the market size was very clear, good, direct to the point. I like this slide. So the next question is how are you gonna get this 200 million? So the next slide is. Exactly, the business model. So once you have a 200 million market, how much are you going to charge for the revenue? So $80 is a average revenue per booking. So if you are charging 8%, it means that one venue costs to your client $1,000. Sorry? Okay. I understand that. Okay, so if you are saying that you have 12, uh, 16 million dollars in revenue in 12 months, hi. Oh, okay, good. Can you hear me now? Okay. Great. So I'm going to talk about the business model slide that you presented. I really like the way that you present. It's very simple. It's direct to the point. It's clear how are you going to make money? How much are you going to charge per client and per product, which is only a fee by per booking? It's very clear, so it's very, very easy to understand. Okay. Yes, I, I think so. Just give me, oh. just give me one second here.
Okay, I'm back. Can you hear me? Good. So what what I would suggest you to do? I don't know if twenty two hundred million when you mention in the market share is twenty uh, two hundred million companies or 200 million dollars i was thinking yes that was dollars however in the right side of the slide you present 16 million in revenue which is eight 8% of the total market, right? Okay, so if you... Okay, but if you think that way, we understand that 200 million dollars should be divided by one thousand dollars which means which means that you need to have two thousand clients right Either you need to have either you need to have two two thousand clients or you need to have a hundred thousand a hundred no one one thousand clients that buys twice from you per year. So let's go to the next slide and let's see what you're considering yeah this is this is uh, one suggestion I would do here in the flow of the presentation instead of presenting competitors here you need to demonstrate how are you gonna get this to thousand clients or one thousand clients that will buy twice per year you know you can do it in two ways the first the first one is to include this information that i just asked in in the next slide of your business model or you can include this information in the same slide and, and you need to be and you need to be aware that it's important to to follow a flow it's important for your presentation to have a flow to tell a story that it's easy to understand in this case i was kind of lost because i didn't know how you are gonna get those clients. It's not clear how many clients it would be. I need to do the math. You should give it uh, right away to be easier to understand and analyzed. And analyzed. So let's go back to to the slide of the comp the competition afterwards let's let's continue talking about the business model and how are you going to get the two the 200 2000 clients 
in one year. So let's go to the next one, to the next slide. Okay, so let's talk about it after, afterwards. Okay. So in the last 10 months, you have already had clients in six countries, 14 cities, 60 hotels, booking more than 400 event rooms and you have reached 12 thousand dollars Okay, so you need to adjust the name of this slide because you mentioned traction last 10 months and then include an information that's different from the, the title. Yeah, just, just adjust to be consistent. Just to give me an idea of the last four months. So you could make $12,000 in, in sales. This is the revenue of your startup or it's the amount of rooms booked? So you have eight eight percent of that, right? So one thousand dollars of revenue. It shouldn't be 90, um, $960? Yes. So, okay. So, your revenue in the last four months is less than $1,000. And it's not a problem. It's just, it's just to, to me to analyze. Is that correct? Okay. So, no, no problem, no problem, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's not a bad thing. So, just, it's just to understand and to do the math. So, let's say you have in the last four months uh, $1,000 of revenue, right? So how much, how many rooms have you booked? Uh, we already have, uh, let me, let me, I find the, the number. We have made we have made about 
about uh, 50 or 60 uh, bookings in this in this four month, in this that four months. 60, let's say 60, right? Yeah. If you have booked 60 rooms in the last four months, the average is $2,000. So it's not $1,000 that you considered the previous slide. Ah, okay. That's, that's the, the average, but uh, we have made a um, big, uh, in this, in these 60 uh, bookings, the, the price has a big variation. Uh, okay, okay. So you are being uh, a little bit conservative, on my view, when you are defining your average price your average the average room rent let's say uh, I'm not sure because you need you know the market better than me and you know the average real price that you can find out on the market. In, this in the last four months, the average price was 2000 But maybe it's not replicable. It's not repeatable. So the average would be in 1000 And it's okay. But it needs to be a real number. Uh, only in 60 mm -hmm. yeah okay so the question here is how are you gonna turn 60 rooms into 2000 rooms in the next 12 months so in four months you've got 60 rooms which means 15 per month but then you need to increase this number by almost 10 times how are you gonna do that you need to include in the presentation your strategy to get those numbers because you will need to play in two main targets. The first one is the rooms available. So who are the owners of the rooms? Hotels, companies, uh, event companies, all of those. And then you need to find companies or people to rent those rooms. And you need to include everything in the platform. So your e-marketing e efforts will be divided by two. If you are playing in Colombia and Mexico together, your marketing efforts will be divided by four. So when I mentioned that I was arguing, arguing, arguing you, arguing, arguing um, when I was discussing about your strategy of going to Colombia and Mexico together, I was thinking about that. You are going to have e marketing efforts in at least four different marketing uh, 
target. Yeah. And, and more than that, each one of them will have specific marketing tactics. So you can use inbound marketing, you can use outbound marketing, you can participate in events, in congresses. So there are different marketing strategies for you to use and to get those numbers. But it will require focus. You will need to dedicate people. You need to dedicate hours in each one of them. So one thing that you need to consider is what would be the best strategy that will have the best ROI return on investments in each one of them. So you need to measure, you need to create process to understand, to test, measure, evaluate, and redefine. Each one of them, each one of the tactics, each one of the targets, and each one of geographies. Does it does it make sense? Yeah, and this strategy should be presented. I need to be I need to be aware of your strategy. How are you gonna get those two thousand rooms? If I just if I just see this slide, the traction slide, on my mind I would say that's not possible. Because in four months you have fifteen rooms per month. How are you going to have 2,000 in 12 months? If I don't see a strategy, if I don't see the numbers that you are intending to achieve using specific, specific tactics and marketing strategy, it's hard to say that you're going to be able to do that or to achieve. So it's important for you to include. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So next slide. The team. Uh, tell me more about the team. You have you have little time to talk during the pitch, but I think it's very important and relevant for us to take a time to to understand who are the guys that are leading the company and make it possible. Okay. 
Okay. Is he working? Okay. Is he working alone, or he is developing a team? They are working from Venezuela and they are working full time or no or not? What's your main role and your main challenge now? Okay, so how many people total working in full time on the company? information that is missing here is your in income statement your PNL so it's good to understand your burn rate your cost of acquisition cost of client acquisition 
the lifetime value of, of them, of the clients is important to have this uh, idea. And you usually use a metric called LTV by CAC, which is CAC, which is the cost of acquisition of clients. So we understand how much money you are going to make with each client. And this metric is very important. So it's also important to, to demonstrate your PNL and see how things are going. Because you have 12 people now and uh, there is a cost structure already in place and there is a revenue on the other side of the income statement of the income statement so we need to take a look on how the company is doing related to the financial part okay uh, another thing that i would add comment it's last slide i think ah the financial investment um, So this slide is not, is not very clear. So you are looking for invest seed investments and 2kbookingnasu.com. Ah, okay, now I understand now. It's the numbers that you have on the, on the business model. Yeah, okay. I understand now, so next slide. What is the next slide? Yes, the investment destination. Okay, it's it's good. Yeah. It's very simple, this slide. I think it's good. So when you are presenting the investment destination, which is where are you going to put the money? Where are you going to allocate the money? It's good to bring a slide talking about it. And you did it, you did it in a very simple way. What I would add here was to provide us a little bit more detail, to provide us with more details on each one of them. Because we were talking about the marketing strategy, you allocate 20% and the sales and product 60%. I would separate those information and I would provide more details on each one of them. So, okay, our intention is we intend to allocate 20% in the market, focusing on 10% in social media, 5% in outbound and 5% in events let's say okay. sales and product are things completely different so it should be diff it should be separated and you should also say what are you going to do in sales are you going to hire people are you going to try to define commissions for third parties are you going to work on partnerships? What are you going to do? So it will 
make more clear your strategy and the feasibility of your business because it's with with this level of information it's hard for me to make a decision on investing or not because it's not clear if you are going to be able to achieve the 2000 rooms bookings uh, with this strategy because this strategy is in a level in a high level and in order to make a decision i expect to see a lower level of details so we need to go into more details uh, to, to make the decision. Okay, so next next slide. What what would it be? Okay, and the next slides. Contact, okay. So uh, I think one more thing that I didn't mention on the financials, which is important. So when you're presenting the financial slide, you need to consider the PNL. You need to demonstrate the costs that your company has already have. What are the burn rate? What are CAC, the cost of acquisition of clients and the lifetime value of the client? Yeah. 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 Okay, so I believe that those are the the points that I that I identified for you to to analyze and redefine here in the presentation. As I as I mentioned before, I also work as mentor. I could also help you guys uh, with mentoring. If you are interested, if you want to know about the pro the program and the process that I developed with the startups, uh, I'm open to explain it to you. If you believe that it makes sense for you to, to have help with a professional that worked with big companies, focusing on strategy, commercial excellence, and marketing. Uh, I can talk to you about the, the process and how it would work. Great. So the first thing that I that I that I do when I'm in the pro the process of becoming a mentoring is to understand the long time the long term vision of the entrepreneurs. I like to see where where you want to go, where what impact you want to make. What are the long-term uh, vision that you have going forward? I'm not sure if it would be better for, for us to have uh, another meeting just to talk about that, or if it makes sense, we can talk right now. If you feel that uh, the other, the founder and the other guys our need to be present in this conversation, we can schedule another time, or we can do right now. What do you prefer? Okay. 
it's possible to to you to send to send us uh, the, the information that we have to have away for the for the meeting. It's possible. It is possible. Sorry, sorry. Could you repeat, please? send to you the information that I I required in order to approve the mentoring for the entrepreneurs and then we can schedule another time I need to check my agenda here just one second Uh, this week is is hard for me. It should be let's say let's see next week how it is. Next week we can talk on Friday morning. Friday morning at 10.30 in the morning, Brazil time. Great. Can you, can you... Yes, if you could send me the invitation, it would be perfect. The connection was broken. If you could repeat, please.
and we are looking uh, for the next meeting because we want to uh, know much about you, okay? Great, great. Good to know that I could help you at that moment and looking forward to talk to you next week. Thank you very much for your words. Okay. Thank you. you too. Bye bye. All right.